Hey dolls and divas, welcome back. And for those of you that are new here, my name is Taylor, welcome. In today's video, I will be showing you my top 25 favorite perfumes for 2020. This is what I've been using in 2020. Um, I do have a bit more of a collection. These are just the top 25 that I chose to use for this video. So, um, the majority of all of my perfumes are Eau de Parfums and just maybe a couple of them are toilettes. So just to kind of give you an idea of what the difference is, the Eau de Parfums are um, scents that have more oils in them and less alcohol, so they stick to you a lot longer. The toilettes have more alcohol in them, so I don't know if I should say they're watered down a bit. So with those particular ones, you kind of find yourself having to layer them more often during the day versus a Eau de Parfum has more oil, so it's gonna stick to your clothes, it's gonna stick to your uh, body longer, and you won't have to carry, you know, like a travel one around or carry the bottle around in your car or whatnot or in your purse and, you know, reapply. Um, but I am a fan of the travel sprays, so I like to buy travel sprays that match the perfumes that I have. Um, when I can so so that's that so let's go ahead and get right into this the first one up is going to be the Mason Francis oh I don't even know what to say about this um last name Kirk Kirk Kajin I'll put it on the screen Y'all can play with that and figure that out. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Baccarat Rouge 540. And when I tell you this is like one of my faves right now, um, this is definitely in my top five, for sure, hands down. Um, this is, this, it, I mean, it just smells so freaking sweet. It, makes you just like kind of want to eat it <laughs> so it is so sweet i love this this is like definitely one of my top fives hands down i mean maybe even like top top two you know so but i absolutely love it um like i said it has like a super fruity smell and it smells so freaking good i just absolutely love it and the compliments on it are going to just be like amazing now um they do have two different ones um one bottle the other bottle retailed for 300 even this one retailed for four 420 um and the lady told me to get this one so this is one this one is called an extract um de parfum so she said with this one um they have this particular one had more oil so this is like 40 percent oil in this particular bottle so to make it last you know a lot longer so um i think i still may get the the other bottle as well is the issue was when i sprayed it in store you know on like the little card or paper i mean i couldn't smell it after a couple of minutes i was like whoa okay wait a minute <laughs> so she suggested this one for me and not this one clearly lasted longer on the paper but i think they would be really good to like layer together um so i may do that as well but as of right now this is this is going to be a staple for me period point blank hands down this is going to be a staple it's not going anywhere so yeah that is that so mason Fa francis baccarat rouge 540 this is the 2.4 ounce bottle and it retails for 420. i know it's it's not cheap but hey i love what i love <laughs> dolls and divas on to the next one. Oh, and by the way i'm not like putting these in any like particular order like my top uh 
10 or whatever, anything like that. Um, if, if, if I may come, if I have like, in which I do in a couple of, um, brands, I have multiple ones. So I'll put those together. Um, but otherwise they're not in any like particular, like, Oh, these are my top 10. Like, no, like I literally picked my top 25 favorites, you know? So like, it's real hard for me. I'm going to say a couple more. You're going to hear it again. Like, Oh, this is my absolute favorite. I, some of them I just really, really love. So yeah. So just to put that out there. So the next one is the YSL Mon Paris. This is Eau de Parfum. This is a five point, uh, no, excuse me, five ounce bottle and it retailed for one fifty-five. When I tell you I have already been through, like this is my third bottle. I, at this point I was just like, let me just get the five ounce bottle because every time I try and refill it, um, it's gone <laughs> like or i literally i think when i purchased this one it was like the last one so um and it's kind of you know it's like once it's gone it's like hard for them to restock so i've already put my mom onto this she ran through a couple of bottles so like this here is the truth like i'm talking about i i have yet to wear this one time and have not gotten one compliment i've yet so when i tell you this is everything it just it it smells it smells luxurious it smells like grown woman about her business not planned like you command in the room when you step in and walk in with this it's just everything i love it but y'all, when y'all go out here and, and you find some bottles, can you please not just like, just get you one and go. Don't go in there and buy 12 bottles because you make it hard for, you know, sisters like me to come along and, and you know, refill, <laughs> refill my stock. And like, I have nothing, you know, like they're, they're sold out everywhere. Please don't do that. Just get you one, maybe two as a gift and, you know, keep it moving. <laughs> but anyways, I love this. You definitely gotta try it. I love it. So I'm not gonna try and spray too many uh, and sniff them too much because um, my this gonna send me and my allergies. I'm trying to spray smell too many at once. Like, anyway, on to the next one. Um, this one is also in the Montpari collection. This is called Intensement. This is a 1.6 ounce bottle, and I got this one retail for 102. $102. So, um, this one definitely was everything. And I had to get this small bottle because that's all they had in Ulta. So, um, when I, this is definitely fall spray. This is definitely a fall perfume. If you love YSL, like if the mom perfume gets you, you are going to love this. Like this is so fall. When I smelled it, I was like, oh no, I need to have that. I have to have that for fall um and it is everything it's 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 like a deep musky um fruity smell like i just love it i don't even know how to explain it like it's it's just it's it's also commanding it's one of those perfumes that are just very commanding and just like head turner like oh what what you got on sis <laughs> so definitely definitely check this one out as well definitely check it out i absolutely love it right and the next one up okay if y'all haven't figured out by now that ysl gets my coin ysl gets my coin <laughs> but l let's just take out a moment and just admire this super grown super sexy bottle like what the sis the bottle alone tells you that i didn't come to play i didn't come in here to play with none of y'all <laughs> like sis is just killing it i mean they just shut it down with the bottle look the bottle made you want to say what's that let me smell her like whoo Honey, mm, 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 whoa. Whoa. 
Ooh, child. <laughs> Yo, this, this is super grown and sexy. Like, this is walk into a business meeting since you already know you already know you you close the deal like this is this is one of those that's gonna just talk for you she gonna speak for you like oh no we got this i know what i'm talking about you know man I, mm, mm, mm. she's everything this this perfume here is everything if you don't get you nothing else out this ysl collection going to get this this is and it's like a deep musky type oh, I, I just that grown just grown mature fragrance like it and like i said it's so commanding like oh my gosh is this here gonna definitely show people how to treat you <laughs> for sure she speaks for herself <laughs> so definitely go try this De this i definitely recommend perfect for fall it's definitely a fall fragrance you i feel like you can wear this year round i'll be wearing it year round that's for sure i'll be wearing it year round but this is definitely a fall fragrance like it's perfect for fall but honey baby <laughs> go and check good sis out please <laughs> all right one more smell before i go Ooh. all right so me and my shenanigans all righty and so oh you know what hold on let me i didn't even tell you about this so why sell libre she's an odu parfum and this is a three ounce bottle and it retails for $132 yes ma'am all right next up we have Louis Vuitton's Rose Des Vents this retails for $265 this is a 3.3.4 ounce refillable bottle yes I said it refillable bottle so I think I mean I bought this a while ago as you can see I've used quite a bit um you just pay I want to say it's like $40 and they allow you to come back and refill it so I guess I probably paid like 300 for it um but it smells so so good um And honestly, this is, oh, this is actually an Eau de Parfum. I actually thought for the longest that this was a toilet, just because I felt like I couldn't, I felt, I mean, as you can kind of see, it is pretty empty. I felt like you couldn't really smell it. So I would find myself like layering it and layering it. Um, but actually I went to a furniture store one day and as soon as I walked in, they was like, oh my gosh, what do you have on? You smell so good. And I was like, oh, you can smell it? Because for the, I couldn't, I didn't really feel like you can smell it, you know? So um, I'm glad that I paid for the refill. I don't, you know, I might have to check and see how long that lasts. I'm not sure if there's like a time limit, but I just love this. It's so dainty and like fruity. Um, excuse me, not fruity, it's floral. <laughs> Hello, the name speaks for itself. It's very florally. So, um, what you'll see a pattern here. The majority of all of my perfumes are floral or sweet, like candy smelling. They're floral. -y. And I have like a few that are like deeper, musky type grown commanding ones so but the majority they're either like florally or fruity that's what i love so this is definitely florally it smells like the name it smells like a bunch of roses and i love it i picked it out and i absolutely love it so yeah all right guys so on to the next 
Um, this one here is, okay, well, this actually does say, oh, did I catch a little bit? Gucci Bloom. So this is the Gucci Bloom and um, this is the 3.3 ounce bottle and it retails for $130. And when I say I'm probably on my last couple of sprays, um, I've already been through like, this is like my third bottle of this too. I love it. Um, smells like a bunch of flowers. Bloom. That's what it is. <laughs> Boom. It smells like a bunch of flowers blooming, a bouquet. A bouquet of flowers blooming. It's so fresh, so fresh, so florally. Just, I love it. It's like one of my faves. I absolutely love it. Hence the third, this is the third bottle and I definitely need like a four. I probably have like maybe two more sprays in here to go and, and that's it. And that's it. So, all right guys, on to the next. And this is... I love this too. Whew. This is by Express. This is called Love Express. And this is my um, most affordable. I think, yeah, this is gonna be the most affordable bottle of perfume. Um, I've been using this particular perfume for years now. And I just like stumbled across it in this Express. Um, I love it, love it, love it. Um, it just smell like candy. Like I'm spraying candy all over my body. <laughs> like it's another one to make you just eat it. <laughs> just want to eat it. Um, I do have a little bit of bad news though. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I do have a slight bit of bad news. Okay. Um, she is discontinued. I cannot find this on Express website. I've actually been trying to purchase this um, as a gift for quite a few months now and I haven't found it. So I'm assuming they discontinued it. I've not been able to find it. If you guys can find it somewhere, let me know so I can just give me a couple of bottles to keep because that made me a little nervous. So, but I love this. I, when I tell you, I get more, this is another one that I cannot wear and don't get a compliment. Cannot wear and not get a compliment. It's just not gonna happen. Not gonna happen with this one. This is definitely one of those ones that you will constantly get complimented on. And it's $56. Retails for $56. And guys, like, something I wanna say too, just because something is cheaper does not mean that it's not good. Just because something is super expensive does not mean, oh, it's the best. No, I have like really expensive perfumes and I don't feel like they last as long as my cheaper ones. You know, I like them for the scent, the smell, but as far as how they last on me during the day, that's what matters to me as well. Like the scent, the smell, and how long they last. Now you mean to tell me I spent $500 on a perfume and I gotta spray it every two hours? <laughs> you know, like, so versus something I spent $56 on and I can wear it all day and get compliments all day. You know, so just keep that in mind. So again, Love Express, if y'all can find it somewhere, like, let me know so I can grab a couple bottles too, okay? Just so I can just have me a couple and I can gift out some as well. So, Love Express, $56. This is an Eau de Parfum and from Express and this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. Yes. Alrighty, now on to the next one, Dolce & Gabbana. And of course my light is super bright, so I want you to see the tag. But it is called Limp, Limp, I always mess this name up. Limperatrice, Limperatrice. So, but this is like, it's so different from anything else that I have. But when I first went into store and smelled it, I was like, oh my God. 
that is so different, but I have to have it. It's so fresh. It's super fresh. It's, it almost has like, I don't know. I don't know. This is going to probably sound crazy, but it almost gives me like some type of exotic fruit vibe, like a exotic citrus fruit. I mean, I love this. Like spring and summer. Oh, this is my go-to. Clearly, look at that bottle. <laughs> it's definitely been worn. <laughs> so spring and summer, this is my go-to. Like I just love that fresh, fruity smell. It's so different. Almost like maybe like a hint of grapefruit or something. I don't know, but like I love it. I absolutely love it. This is my go-to in summer for sure. Um, so this is actually a toilet. This is not an Eau du Parfum. This is a toilet. But for it being a toilet, let me say, because like I said earlier, toilets, you have to constantly layer them. This one, it will last you. This one is one of those that you can spring out and you'll still, probably because it's so fresh and citrusy, like fresh and fruity, I don't know. But is that why it lasts all day? But it it's one of those ones that will last you during the day. You know, if you want to go out one, you know, later on and just like, just tap it, freshen it up a bit. You can do that later on date, but it's not one of the ones you feel like you have to have in your purse. So you, every time you get out the car, you need to freshen it. Like, no, it's not one of those, but you'll definitely love it. So this one um, retails for $82 and it is a 3.3 ounce bottle. So for the next one, we have Miss Dior. Miss Dior by Christian Dior. And this one is the Roses in Roses. And this one is a toilet as well. And this retails for $107. And this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. Um, this one, I, I absolutely love. It smells like a whole bouquet of roses. Whole bouquet. Just walked into like a a um what do you call them greenhouse like a rose greenhouse or something like that love it love 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 it um i don't feel like i haven't had any issues with having to constantly layer it like i said even though it's a toilet i feel like it's strong enough to hold the scent on me so i don't feel like i have to be like layering all day this does a good job so at holding its own, <laughs> holding its own. So yeah, I definitely love it. If you're into fruity smell, why are you saying fruity? Fruity floral, I don't know why I keep, maybe the two Fs. But anyway, if you're into floral smells, definitely cop her. Sis is a win, she's a win. She's a five star chick. <laughs> Let me cut it out. <laughs> All right, next up, we have the good ma'am, Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle. Yes. <laughs> My fan of white. <laughs> uh, but anywho, so Mademoiselle, she is Eau de Parfum. 3.4 ounce bottle and she retails for $135. Let's just smell her. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Boy, my head gonna be so stuffed up tomorrow. This is gonna be crazy. I did myself dirty. Um, <laughs> um, I just love smelling perfumes. I'm such a freaking perfume attic is ridiculous i love smelling good like my goodness this is bad um but back to the matter at hand so miss coco chanel here she just oh man i don't even know how to really explain her i don't it's almost like she's a mix between fruity and floral like i feel like i can pick up both a hint of both Definitely, let me just, ooh. <sighs> that make no sense. Um, she, I just love this. I, I, I definitely love this. And you know what? I'm actually gonna try something. One of my 
favorite YouTubers that I am watching, Peyton Charles, she actually says she layers this and the Baccarat Rouge together. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that one day and see how I like it. Um, because this is, I love, I love the scent. And it's, and it's subtle. It's not even like super overwhelming. It's a really good smell, but it's like subtle at the same time. Like not just slap you in the face. Just like walk by like, hmm, wow, that's nice. That's a nice one. So I really love that about this. I love that. So that's Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. Alrighty, so next up we have another Chanel. And this is Chanel Chance. So this is, I've been wearing this all day today. So I've already had, I already have this on. So um, it just smells so good. I, you know what? <laughs> I gotta be honest, out of the two Chanel, this one is my favorite one. It's so fresh. You know, I think I just really love those fresh smelling. Oh, it's like a fresh floral, like a hint of floral smell. And I just love it. I absolutely love it. Um, and we can't go wrong with it being pink, you know. This is, this is everything. I love this. This is one of my absolute, this is definitely in my top fives for sure in my top fives so get you some definitely go check it out and get you some i don't think you'll be disappointed with this at all at all okay and just in case i did not say it this is a eau de parfum it is a 3.4 ounce bottle and it retails for 135 dollars Alrighty. Next up is your boy, Tom Ford. Mr. Tom Ford. And this is the Soleil Blanc Eau du Parfum. It retails for $225 and this is a 1.7 ounce bottle. Tom. We need to talk, okay? <laughs> so, but what I can say, let me tell you something. If you go to the beach, you don't need to wear anything else but this. Nothing else. This and skin, I'm just playing. <laughs> look, but look, this, this just gives me, I'm going to Mexico. I'm going to Tulum. I'm going to Costa Rica. Like this just gives me like beachy island type vibes. Like it smells so freaking good. I don't think I would, I put this on like in winter a couple of times, but this, I would say this is more like a spring summer perfume. This is, is this is just what it is. It smells so good. It's like so citrusy. It has such a, like a citrusy smell. It just gives you that, like I said, it gives you that vibe that you're just going on a vacay to, to lay out on the beach somewhere. Like it's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. Tom, it's a vibe. This is, well, first of all, can we just give a round of applause to the bottle though? Can we do that? Can we give a round of applause to the bottle? Like, what? Come on, come through Versace. That's what I'm talking about. That bottle is everything alone. See, boy, they just, they pull you in with these bottles. They know exactly what they be doing. Oh, that's a cute bottle. Let me pick that up. <laughs> this is everything. But look, not only does the bottle look good, the perfume is the business. Okay, this is what I've noticed about this perfume. And when I say that I absolutely love this, I absolutely love it. This is definitely in my top fives. Have I even reached five yet? Y'all, I'm probably gonna go past five talking about these are my top fives. And I'm probably gonna be at 10, right? And still talking about this is my top five. But anyway, this is definitely in my top five. And 
one thing I noticed about this, it is feminine, but it also has a slight hint of masculine. Um, I'm a sprayer. I'm a sprayer. I'm a sprayer. That's me. Okay. So I noticed once you spray after about four times, you can kind of start get, getting a smell of like slight masculine masculinity. But during the day when it settles on you, you get that feminine smell again. I don't know. It probably sounds like the weirdest thing, but that's what I've noticed. But when I tell you I love this, love this, love this, y'all don't don't go don't go and burn them up, please. You know, I hate when I love something and I can't find it. So don't do the fool. Get, just get you one. Don't be greedy. But I absolutely love it. Try you out one. Okay, one. All right. So this is the Versace Dylan Blue. It retails for $120, and this is the 3.4 ounce bottle. Is it she lovely? <laughs> yes, she is. Is it she or he? Anyway, it's mine. Alrighty, so up next is actually one of my new faves. Yes, I actually got, this is one of my Christmas gifts. So, thanks babe. <laughs> um, this is the new Burberry her and I okay so I'm a little secret I couldn't make up my mind today if I wanted to wear her or the Chanel the Chanel chance yeah the Chanel chance so I just decided to go ahead and mix both of them yeah that's what I did today sure did and I loved it it worked yes so yes, guys, this is one of my Christmas gifts. I absolutely love, love, love. This is definitely my in my top fives, guys. And this is also going to be a staple, like something I'm going to keep buying until they just no longer have it. Um, so Burberry Her Blossom, this is a toilette. I, I do not feel like I had to keep layering this. I don't know if because I mixed it with the good sis Chanel, but um, I didn't have to and I've been smelling nice and blossomy all day. She smells like her name speaks for herself. Blossom. Boom. A blossom of flowers. That's what she smells like and I love it. So she is a 3.3 ounce bottle and she retails for $109. Dollars. Yes, honey, yes. What do we have up next? Ooh. Alrighty. She's so little, like she's a little, little bee, bee, bee. So cute and small, hunty. But when I tell you it's like bang in this little bitty bottle, bang. Top fiver. Mm, mm, mm. This is Givenchy Irresistible. This is a Eau du Parfum. 1.7 ounce bottle and she retails for $93. This is the biggest bottle they had in the store and it was like two left. I see why. This is everything. This smell like a whole, a whole candy, a whole pack of candy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Givenchy Irresistible, she smelled like, she smelled like a little hint of cotton candy and some other candy. <laughs> but I love, love, love this. This is, she is everything. I love, love, love it. And the little bottle was just like too cute. It, it just looks irresistible. Made me go in the store and pick it up like, hmm, what's this? Smelled it? Oh, I'm taking it home. <laughs> That simple. Yes, I love this. This is definitely one of my faves. Definitely top five, guys, remember that. Okay, let me move Miss Chanel. She don't wanna be with it. She don't wanna play with everybody else. She just keeps trying to fall out the little tray. Like, sis, I'm too good for everybody else. Excuse me, you go sit over there. All right, guys, next up, this one here 
is like the name is what threw me off in the beginning because when the name of the brand just made me think uh excuse me what is this like in my great grandma or my grandma's perfume but honey when i tell you they made a comeback of the century they tapped in into their marketing department and found out what people are doing what <laughs> the younger crowd is doing and they definitely tapped into it and i'm here for it i love them for it this is in my top five and it is going to be a forever staple okay and we're going to go ahead and introduce the giorgio armani my way what giorgio armani now y'all know good and well you think giorgio armani you think flashback from the past perfume the lady in sephora is the one that talked me into this. I didn't even want to go look in a section. I'm gonna be all the way 100. I'm gonna keep it a buck here. I was like, what? <laughs> she was like, have you smelled this? George? I was like, no, sis, what? I was like, what do I need? I don't need no Giorgio or mine. She was like, no, just smell it. And I was like, all right, whatever. I was like, wait, wait, <laughs> spray that again? Yes. When I tell you the good sis, this is what smell like a whole thing of candy this smell like a whole you mm, mm, mm. wow a whole candy store that's what you're gonna smell like whole candy store shh, shh, shh. just a whole candy store like a walking ball of cotton candy or something like you just gonna smell like a walking candy store like this stuff smells so freaking good so freaking good i love it this is um i'm gonna really i'm gonna keep it all the way buck this might even this is like within my top two i think i'm gonna have to say i think i'm gonna have to say she's in my top two i completely love this i'm so in love with this giorgio armani my way this is a new one from giorgio Ar armani um this is a three point ounce bottle it retails for $126 and it is an Odoo perfume. That baby is lasting all day, honey. But me, I, I, I'm I, gonna have to find the little travel spray because she's one of those ones like, I don't even care. So what, I'm spraying it all day just to make sure you just don't stop smelling me. So what, I'm spraying it all day. I completely love this perfume. Top two, top two, facts. Mm -hmm. So, next up on our roster is going to be another one. Of, this is another one of my new faves, too. This is the Valentino Volse, Volse Viva. And this is an Eau de Parfum. This is a 1.7 ounce bottle. And I actually got it as a gift set. So, it came with a um travel sprayer so a 0 0.5 ounce travel spray um sprayer to keep which i love i'm gonna start investing in more of these like whatever i have you know in my collection at home i'm just going to invest in these throw them in my purse period because these are these come in handy so much you touch it up right before you get out the car i just love it so the gift set for both these were retailed for 110 dollars and it's definitely worth it. I definitely use this perfume a lot. Um, I honestly feel like it's the, it's a runner-up right behind uh, my way. Um, as far as, you know, the scent, it smells so sweet. It smells like candy. But boy, ain't nothing that candy. My way is like nobody touching that candy smell just yet, I don't think, from what I've smelled so far. So, but this is definitely a go-to she's definitely a staple definitely a staple for sure for sure um i'm gonna say in my top 10 i love this one though is that i just feel like it's the runner-up to my way so if i want to 
tone down my candy smell, I'll put on this one. I wanna just smell like a whole um, candy factory, I'm putting on my way. <laughs> on to the next. This one is the Killian Fun Things Always Happen After Sunset. I love this too. This is, I mean, I feel like this is year round, but because it's like a deeper, a deeper scent, you definitely, I can definitely see this being like more of a fall scent, but I can definitely rock this. It's it's one of those deep scents that you can definitely still rock in the summertime as well. I just love it. It smells like a, like an exotic fruit like a, a exotic fruit, like, um, I don't know, like a dragon fruit or something. Like, like it just has that smell. It smells so freaking good though. So freaking good. Definitely in my top five. Definitely in my top five. Like, look, I can't even keep my, keep the top on my goodness. Um, but yeah, so this is the Killian and this um, is a Eau du Parfum. It is a 3.4 ounce bottle and it retails for a hundred and thirty five dollars and look at the little bit like isn't that little bottle cute like are you kidding me whoa <laughs> that wasn't good okay I saved it it's not broken it's heavy too so it's not like super lightweight but just little upside down bottle like you know, I don't even want to spray. I want to spray on me so bad. I'm not gonna do it though. But um, yeah. Let me hurry and put her down before she decide to fall again. This is too freaking cute. Like, all right, Killian. All right, I love this. Definitely get you guys some. So next up on the list is Mark Jacobs Decadence. So, I've actually had this for a, quite a while. Um, it's definitely a different scent on me. Purchasing this one actually made me um, start to, like for things that I'm on the fence about, fragrances that I'm on the fence about, everything, and just so you know, every fragrance is not gonna work with everybody's body chemistry. Just because you like the way something smells on somebody else or you sprayed it in story like with smell doesn't mean it's gonna match your body chemistry. And um, I just, for some reason, I kind of feel like that's what was, what happened with this, but I like, I I still like it on me. It's such a weird, I don't know. It's it's such a weird thing. It I feel like it smells a little stronger and a little more, more musky on me but i like the smell that it gives off you know it's it's i don't know if that's even making sense it kind of sounds weird but it's definitely um a stronger um smell it's deep it's deep and it's kind of like a musky smell um i feel like even though it, since it's a deeper, deeper smell, you can still do it in the spring or summer. Um, but I would definitely go for like more like fall, fall, winter, for sure, for sure. It's like it's almost hard for me to even describe what like wood. It's like a woody type smell, almost like a. Woody types, yeah, like that is kind of gives me like a woody type smell type vibe. So, but um, I just thought, and I think what sucked me in too was like the bottle was so freaking cute how it looks like this little purse, you know, with the little tassel. Like, come on, Marc Jacobs and Decadence. And you know what? I don't think you can find this anymore um, because I had it for a while. So I had to kind of try and go trying to find the price. So, um, this is an Eau du Parfum. Um, this is a 1.7 ounce bottle. And I think I paid like around $85 for it because I know the bigger bottle, um, 3.4 ounce was like $122. So I remember paying like 80, 90 bucks for it, some, somewhere around there. So um, yeah, so, but that's that. That's that. 
Um, so you probably won't find this in the store, guys. Like, you may have to find it like on a, you know, like a perfume website or something like that. Um, like the smell that sells scents or, you know, something like that to, to actually be able to find it. So, yeah. On to the next, we have Gucci Bamboo. So this has definitely been one of my, I've been, well, this is one of my um, scents that I've actually been rocking for years. So um, I definitely, this has definitely been a staple. I'm gonna definitely just like, probably always keep it around. Um, doesn't smell like candy. Small, small hint of, of, um, of floral, small hint. Um, but I definitely love it. It's definitely one of my go-tos. It, it, to me, um, I used to actually kind of use this for like an everyday spray. Everyday spray, spray it on. Um, so this is um, a 2.5 ounce bottle. It retails for $119. And it is an Odu Parfum. It is. Yes, ma'am. And next we have up Prada. Prada Kiss. This is one of my go-tos because, you know, kind of smells like candy. Mmm. <laughs> has that, has that fruity. It just smells really girly. It smells really girly, like, I just, I love this. I love this, it smells super girly. Um, like, it also gives me like, I wanna say, like a hint of candy, a hint of candy, and maybe a hint of, candy <laughs> but yes this was um i'm probably on my second bottle of this too because this is something i've been wearing for a few years too so um the product candy kiss this retails for 126 dollars and this is a 2.7 ounce bottle so definitely check you out check it out check her out yes. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Another one of, this is one of my top five ones, guys. When this came out and I smelled this, I practically lost it. I was like, oh no, I am not leaving here without a bottle. This is Marc Jacobs. Perfect. When I tell you he couldn't have named this any better because this scent is so freaking perfect. I love it. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. It smells like fresh candy, like fresh candy, but it doesn't have such a sweet sugary smell to it. It's like a little bit of a fresh, slight tart smell. Like it is everything. It is perfect. But, but this is a toilette baby get you the spray the travel spray bottle okay because this one of them ones you probably gonna be layering all day okay all day i'm just gonna keep it a buck with you because um i was i was looking for it you know after a couple of hours i was looking for it and i was like babe like do you smell me <laughs> I'm not getting any compliments. You smell me, <laughs> you know. So yeah, I had to go and get the the roller spray, the travel spray for this too because I needed to. It smells so freaking good. It's like, why don't you last longer? Like, why can't I constantly smell you? Like, I want to walk by somebody like that and catch. I want them to catch my my drift, you know. Like, and turn around like. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. What are you wearing? You know? And so you're gonna have to keep layering it, okay, to get that. So keep that in mind. But when I tell you this scent is so freaking good, you're going to love it. It is so perfect. You're gonna love it. 
I love it. Another thing I like about Marc Jacobs, he always come with these super freaking cute different bottles. I don't know if he does that to make people just like, you know, notice like the bottle and, and be like, well, hey, let me pick that up. What is that? But he always comes through with these super freaking cute different bottles. Look at all these little, what is it, little ornaments and stuff. And it's so random. A domino and a banana? <laughs> I never really paid attention to that. That is so hilarious. Um, and then you have like a heel and like a kitten back here and some cherries. And that is hilarious. That is hilarious. What? He said, let me just throw whatever on there and just put it on. They'll buy it. And I did. <laughs> but anyway definitely um check this out this is a 3.3 ounce bottle and it retails for 128 dollars you know what i take that back this is not a toilet this is actually an odu parfum so i take that back this is one of the odu parfums my first odu i thought it was a toilet because of the layering this is one of the first odu parfums that i think i have that I have to feel like I have to constantly layer. So just keep that in mind. But the scent you will love. Love. Period. Let's move on to the next. And as you can see, who who y'all think this is? Let's guess. <laughs> Take a while, guess. Who make these crazy tops? Okay, but they cute though. This is also Marc Jacobs. This is the Daisy Collection, and this is the oh so fresh this one definitely is a toilet um and i love it because it's also oh fresh it has a very fresh um fresh scent to it um very it's very it's not like super sweet but it's a sweet fresh like you know fresh out the shower and you have like um and you just sprayed on like a light um perfume to go to bed or something it's really subtle but it's really girly and really cute and like super feminine like it's something that you'll definitely love like hands down definitely love um and this one is a 4.25 ounce bottle. I love those big bottles. And it retails for um, $118. This one is up next. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> what do he be thinking? Who come up with these ideas? They're so freaking cute though, but it's so different. Like who comes up with these little ideas? That is so freaking cute, but it's it's huge. <laughs> like it's it's kind of huge. <laughs> like it's about big as my hand. But um, this is also a Marc Jacobs perfume, also in the Daisy collection, and this one is called Oh So Sweet. It is a toilet as well, and this one is. Oh, this is the Daisy Love, yeah, Daisy Love Collection, oh so sweet. This one retails for $108, and this is a 3.3 ounce bottle. This one smells like baby powder to me. So, it's like, it has like a hint of baby powder. So, let me tell you what I do. What y'all think I do here? Boom, I layer both of these. Both of these together are fire. I just did it by, you know, I was like, let me just try it. Oh, so fresh and oh, so sweet. What? You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I layer these both together. You can, you don't have to layer them, but I put one on one and I just picked it up when I was like, oh, it smells nice and fresh. Let me try this one. Oh, sweet. Like they just work together so well. Like I, I look, look, look at me. So, they, they just work together so freaking well and I absolutely love it. 
love it love it love it so definitely check this check this out and like i said i don't know if i told you but this one is a toilet as well guys so last but not least this one is michelle i don't know if i'm saying this last name properly it's either germain or germain g-e-r-m-a-i-n i'll put all this on the screen also um but this is sexual nor and this is an eau du parfum a 4.2 ounce bottle and she retails for 108 dollars and um i just stumbled across this maybe a couple of years ago um i was in the mall and the perfume rep was in there and was like try this and i really liked it i was like oh i actually really love that so i picked it up it's a very sexy smell and let me tell you um uh, i get a bunch of compliments on this this is one of them other ones too every time i wear it i'm getting complimented so gonna gonna check this out okay because this is definitely going to be a staple in my collection for sure for sure for sure so i absolutely love this um as you can see the bottle has definitely been loved she practically gone <laughs> but um yeah definitely definitely check her out and you won't be disappointed you'll love it so far this collection that you've seen um runs me about thirty seven hundred dollars so i have a pretty extensive collection i'm pretty sure once 2021 hits i'm gonna be fine i'm gonna be finding me something else <laughs> so um if you guys have any recommendations on things you think i would like please drop that information in the comments and if I like it, I will buy it, period. So let me know. Let me know some recommendations of what y'all like, what y'all think I might like. Keep in mind like that I'm the candy girl. Candy girl. <laughs> um, or fruity, you know, give me something with some flowers, some blossoms. I love it, you know. So yeah, leave, leave that information down in the comments below and thank y'all thank y'all so so much for tuning in i so appreciate y'all and love peace happiness i'm wishing everybody abundance nothing but prosperity in 2021 we going hard we get into the bag we getting our money and we are going to be grateful and thankful and we are going to be winners period period poop all right well thank y'all so much for tuning in i love y'all so much and make sure y'all like this video feel free to comment and make sure you subscribe to a doll's channel we'll see you around love you guys